Now I'm trying to prove Pascal's principle, which is if you apply pressure to an enclosed fluid, it will be transmitted undiminished or equally to, um, in all directions. I, um, I decided to construct a simple hydraulic elevator to prove this, um, to prove this um, principle. Uh, I used I was I used to build this elevator, uh, an old shoe box that I had, um, pink construction paper, um, a plastic tube, and a couple of syringes. I also used um, a matchbox to represent the elevator, and um, I uh, and these holes are made. Uh, to represent the floors, I cut them based on the uh, according to the size of the matchbox. Um, here I connected both syringes, the one here and the one here, using a plastic tube that I, this one, and I filled them with water. Uh, now I'm going to try. And uh, now I'm going to try the experiment to see if it really works. But to remind you, the principle is, if pressure is applied to an enclosed fluid, it will be transmitted undiminished or equally in all directions. So here, this is the enclosed fluid. It is enclosed in the syringe and in the tubes. And um, uh, pressure is applied. It is transmitted, here the pressure is applied, and it's transmitted um, uh, with the same level of force in, all the, uh, in the only direction that it had, which was the other research. Now, if I wanted to, be, uh, to, ha um, to have more, more people on my elevator, I, I wanted a bigger elevator, I'd probably use a syringe just like this one. That's because it has bigger area and bigger force, and uh, and if I apply pressure here, it may, um, uh, same uh, pressure is applied here. This is because pre pressure is force over area. So if here the force over area is small and for here the force over area is big, they're equal. Uh, thanks.